let's recap the draw for the West Zone, where we have some very intriguing matches lined up. In the West, we have five groups from A to E, with 20 clubs allocated for the group stage fixtures. The defending champion Al Hilal is in place for Group A, together with Iran SC from Qatar, FC Istakol from Tajikistan, and winner of Playoff 3. And we can see the new debutants, Indian Super League winners Mumbai City, joined by Saudi Arabia's Al Faisali FC and Ahal FC of Turkmenistan, all grouped up for an exciting lineup fixtures. Let's do a quick recap of the draw results of the East Zone. We have highly anticipated match fixtures here. 2019 edition champion Urawa Red Diamonds from Japan is in Group F, together with Shandong Taishan FC from China PR and Lion City Sailors from Singapore, and also winners of the Playoff 4. 2016 Champions League winners, Jumbo Kande Motors from Korea Republic is in Group H, together with Yokohama F Marinos, Hongang Gia Lai from Vietnam, and winner of Playoff 1. We can look forward to some newcomers, such as Australian A-League champions Melbourne City, who will feature in the competition for the first time. Also, another debutant, Lion City Sailors from Singapore, will play under the AFC flag for the first time as well. As explained earlier, please note that while this centralized format will continue to see clubs from all across Asia assemble in designated host member associations, the match schedule are spread out over this year and until early 2023. Just briefly sharing the match schedule, for the West group stage, it will take part as a double round robin in centralized venues from 7th to 27th of April. For the East group stage, it will take part also as a double round robin in centralized venues from 15th of April to 1st of May. That concludes our draw today and we can now look forward to another thrilling campaign for the AFC Champions League this year. I wish all the participating clubs the very best luck and wish the matches be played in the spirit of fair play. That is all from me. Wherever you are, stay safe.